I bet you couldn't tell it was me through this heavily curated disguise, but it's me, PSM. Hello guys, uh, I'm here for you today to make a fucking shits and giggles quick tutorial video on how to make your very own black Spider-Man suit. I've had, you know, a bit of a holdup about making this video because there's already a video about how to make your very own black suit, but that video is a train wreck. Um, no offense, I, I love Godzilla Mendoza. Every single person who subscribes to this channel loves Godzilla Mendoza. Everybody knows he practically pretty much made my entire career by doing the same thing as me, but different. Um, I shouldn't say that because that makes it sound like I'm actually fucking serious about some shit when I'm really just trying to be funny for the camera. Anyway, I think that video is a little misguided, just a little misguided in how, in how he made that suit. And it's a little old. It's an older video. This thing was made in like 2018, I think. So it's pretty much five years later and I'm going to show you how to make your very own Spider-Man black suit with no weird long stretched logos, no spray paint, no taping, no bullshit, no classic Godzilla Mendoza force your family to help you make shit. Just some craft foam, some good old PC fan mesh, some, some white, but I'm using silver puff paint today. So either white or silver, whichever you want. And some goddamn super glue. And I'm gonna show you how to make your very own black suit. Spoiler, it's very easy. Now I recommend you do this if you know what you're doing because I'm gonna do this first. I forgot to mention in the opening of the video, you're gonna of course need one full black jumpsuit. Now what I'm gonna recommend doing is tightening it. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit at the chin here so I can simulate that chin seam I'm always telling you guys about. I'll, I'll put a picture of it on screen of what I'm gonna do to it right or just draw it out over the fabric itself but i'm basically gonna low, gonna go along the neckline like that tighten the chin up a bit and uh just gonna go over the bodysuit itself and tighten the waist a little bit because are you really spider-man without that slutty waist answer is no i'm gonna tight i'm gonna fucking sew that bitch up all right i'm gonna be showing you how i make my patented no brim lenses lenses with no brim first okay got my little demo piece of paper i wanted to do something a little classic but i think if i'm if i'm really because i'm only going to use one sheet this is the pc fan mesh by the way i only have one sheet of this that i'm going to use so i have to make sure the eye only takes up half of the mesh right so i can have two I'm trying to think about what i want the the shape to be here i want something like kind of classic but at the same time small eyes on the black suit just does not look good to me i need something big it's not enough shape to it i think like shape in all the wrong places i don't know if i like it damn it okay i like it i like it i finally found a shape i like it's kind of built like a like a scorpion stinger which i kind of like here we go Templates fresh out the lens, right? Throw this shit away. We don't need it. Get the fuck out of here. All right? Put it on your paper. And then get a fat-ass Sharpie. And use red here, because red's my favorite color. All right. All right, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to make sure I cut all the red off of this because I don't want any red on my mask. It kind of makes like a nice popping sound when you cut through the mesh. I want to see if I can get it on, on, on the microphone. Do you hear that? It's so nice. My fucking phone. Ran out of storage as I was recording this. This is exactly why I need a camera, goddammit. There we go. For all intents and purposes, 
we have our little lenses, all right? So set these aside, get this back out again, get the lens traced on your foam. I can barely even see this. Basically, what you're doing right now is you're tracing out the pads that you're gonna put on the inside of this thing to make it so that you can actually glue it onto the mask. So it's basically just like you're making a rim for your lens, but it goes on the inside and it's not visible at all and no one will ever see it. I want this thing to look a little presentable and to make sure that you can't see my eyes at all, I'm gonna go the full mile and do all the padding because the reason we're doing all this padding is that we can't glue the mesh straight onto the mask. We need like a, a what's the right word, a proxy? Like something to go in between it to transfer the two materials to each other. Because we can't glue mesh right on to, to fucking fabric. That's not going to go good. Or maybe I, maybe it would. I've never tried it before. I just I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Oh, uh, man. I miss being able to work while watching Breaking Bad. Because now I have to talk and be on camera. And I can't watch Breaking Bad in the background. Because that would be unprofessional, but I really want to turn on Breaking Bad right now, because I'm almost at the end. Does this thing go? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, sir? Please? What the fuck is going on? Oh, this better not be the bullshit where I have to... Do I have to shake this before I use it? I'm, I'm gonna shake it first. I'm gonna shake it. Ah. Yeah, you know what this looks like. I don't even have to fucking say it. All right, fine. Please work, please work. Oh my God, this stuff like stinks, okay? So if you can, get some goddamn goggles or something. I'm being so serious. Like if you use Gorilla Glue for more than like a couple seconds, like more than 30 seconds, you're gonna really start to smell these fumes here. Now, when I wear my masks, okay, after I've glued them, like after I've glued the lenses onto them just to see how they look, I wait. I wait like a good while for the glue to dry before I try on any of my masks because that glue, fuck man, it burns your face and it cannot be good for your health. Do not, I repeat, if you are going to do this technique or any of my techniques that include that involve that in glue that in fuck that involve gluing shit to other shit and then putting that shit on your face. Oh, I smeared the paint on this. I'm gonna need to take it outside and do another coat of silver real quick. All right, I'm not gonna lie, the glue stains kind of give it like, kind of give it some edge, you know what I mean? But it doesn't look good, I don't think. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit these with one more fucking. All right, so when I glue my lenses, I like to get a face shell. If you do not have a face shell, I completely understand, but. You're gonna need to find something to put your mask on. So that means going to Joann's, going to Walmart, going to anywhere you know that sells a plastic mannequin head and buying one. And then like you're about to kidnap that motherfucker. Get his ass in a fucking, get his ass in a little fucking grocery bag, right? Suffocate him. And then get your mask off your bodysuit. I usually do this with regular masks, so I'm kind of in foreign territory right now, but it's okay. I'm gonna have to pin this down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my mask like this. I'm gonna restrain it like that, but notice how I'm keeping it like tight over the face shell. Nice and form fitted, everything is even. Got myself a little house clip here. And literally just gonna Ethan Bradbury slam that shit on it. Slam in. You already have the idea, you know, and luckily if you have a good enough face shell, you should have an idea of where your eyes are, but um, I'm a professional and I've done this a billion times, so I'm not doing it because I already know where the lenses need to go. But 
If you want to know exactly where to put the lenses on your mask, you can go in the mirror, mark where your eyes are with a Sharpie, and then come back and redo this, put it back on, just so you know exactly where to put your lenses. But me, I know exactly where these lenses are, are going to need to be, because I've done this a billion times. I'm a professional, right? And I'm just going to place them right here. And that's going to look good to me. Yeah, we have this set, so I'm going to get back to fixing these lenses up real quick. So I'm going to take you guys through the fixer upper steps in case you fucked yours up like mine. So I'm going to trim some of the extra foam off, you know, I don't want that showing anyway, and that's how I get that clean cut. But you guys should pretty much get the idea on how to do your, your rimless lenses. I've shown you one of my many hidden abilities, guys. This is one I haven't told the whole world about. Everyone asks me how I do it. I usually tell them every time, but I don't think people are really gonna understand how this method works and how to do it until after this video. I'm kind of like a trendsetter, guys. I'm kind of like a trendsetter, an innovator, if you will. I'm so full of myself. Okay. See, that extra trim and nice. Now I'm gonna go take these to the back alley and uh, spray paint them. Get my old metallic, brother. All right, so if you're not an idiot like me and fucked up your lenses, you should be able to glue them right onto the face shell as I showed you earlier. Glue them straight onto these. If you didn't have to do any of those fixes, I would just move right on ahead. I have to wait to glue mine on, so I'm gonna show you how to paint the spider on first. Uh, but first I have to strip this fucking mannequin. All right, y'all, it's the morning after, like some plan B. What? Right? It's all fucking dry, baby. And I gotta say, the silver metallic looks quite nice, especially with the metallic lenses. I was worried they wouldn't match up super well, but they kind of do. So we only have the front part painted on. There's no legs on the back, as you can see. So I'm gonna take this off the mannequin, try it on real quick and see how it looks. I look like a very handsome young man. Quite nice. The logo's a little off center, but that's what I get for, you know, freehanding it and not doing it symmetrical. But honestly, it's the symbiote. I'm okay with it being a little off kilter and weird looking. So the logo is done. Let's move on to the one on the back. Let him cook. Let him cook now. Let him cook. Guys, 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 I have something for you. The merch store, baby! If you look in the description of this video, you will find the long-awaited merch store. I got a bunch of stuff that I promise you'll be interested in. Like this very familiar blue spider hoodie. You know, I bet if you got this thing and you cut the sleeves off of it, you could probably make a pretty killer costume with it. Legally speaking, this was not the intended purpose for this product. Or what about this? other familiar looking spider hoodie. I swear, man, just looking at this thing makes me want to grab the nearest cat, put it politely in a backpack, and just free run around the city with him. Legally speaking, this was not the intended purpose for this product. Now, I'm really excited to bring you guys these hoodies that may or may not be for your cosplays. And I have so many other items in store for you to check out, but I don't want to keep you from the video. Just remember, 
to check out the link in the description to get your hands on some merch before Christmas. Thank you all so much. Let's get back to the video. All right, we've got the spider logos painted on the back and front. Now all that's left to do is to give the symbiote those white hand patches that it has on the gloves of the suit. And I don't even know if I need to tell you how to do that. All you literally have to do is just paint some rectangles onto your costume. Now, I didn't mention this before I, I fucking started painting them like a complete dumbass, but I recommend getting some cardboard, cutting it out into a rectangle that is big enough to stuff into the glove of your costume, and then once that's all stuffed out, then you can proceed with painting because you want to make sure your spandex is all stretched out before you start painting it so that you can make sure it looks as good as possible because that's how it's going to look when it's on your body all stretched out and stuff so you want to paint it stretched out too i'm making sure to give myself space so that i'm not exactly painting it up on the knuckle because if i paint it up on the knuckle it's not going to look good all the way up there All right, literally the fucking worst part. We gotta wait for this goddamn shit to dry. Guys, holy shit. This is the finished product. Dog, dog. It looks so good, holy fuck. Bro. Only downside is that the zipper is not metallic. The zipper goes straight through it. I, I recommend fixing that with like some metallic spray paint. If you just go light on it, make sure you tape it up real nice. So like tape up so it only the zipper is showing and then maybe spray paint over that. I'm pretty happy with this. You know, the hand patches are a little uneven on mine. So just make sure you're extra careful when you do yours. And I mean, the only thing I guess I would wish I, I did in retrospect was line up the chalk a little better, but because the logo's a little uneven. But other than that, I think I did a really good job. I think I did a really good job. And uh, I hope this tutorial video helped. I'll see you guys next time. I help you guys make some stupid shit. Deuces. Bro, look at the drip. Look at the drip. Look at the drip. Look at the drip. These are the Venom shoes, boy. Come on now. Come on now. I got the Symbio steppers on.